animation series of YouTube tutorials today we're looking at NDVI in MATLAB and before we do anything else just to say the intellectual property belongs to Martin Trout and give the web reference in a second yeah, there it is there University of Potsdam and just you can download the various satellite files from Earth Explorer, the link is given in Martin's webpage. And he selected around Potsdam, which is near Berlin in Germany. And then just to give you some idea, when you download these, they're quite big. And you can see some of the sizes there. So just to warn you that uh, you need a reasonably spec machine for this to work. So I'm going to shut that down. Oh, just one other thing before I go. Um, the Sentinel-2 you get 12 bands well so for us we're going to look at band 4 and band 8 i suppose we could have checked or selected any one of the the near infrared but we're going for band 4 and band 8 okay shut that down uh, there's martin's web page uh, he wrote this book numerical recipe for earth sciences and it's a very good book and just give them the plug there. So we're going to shut that down. Uh, the code is given there, but I've published it. So we're just going to look at that. So we cleared it all, etc. We closed all the figures. And we're going to read in band 4 on the 22nd of May, band 8 on the 22nd of May, band 4 on the 29th of May 2018. And band 8 on the 29th of May. We read in the four images there, and I just put this to give you some idea of what size they are. They are 1098, so they are 10,980 by 10,980, and obviously there is a one band per spectrum. Okay, so uh, what Martin did here was because uh, that Sentinel 2 image would be quite big. He knew from beforehand where Potsdam was, so he just selected these areas from the four images. So just to try and keep it to Potsdam and it wouldn't be too big because it would be churning away forever. We converted them for to singles, a cast operator, just as to get it uh, more, to get the numerical computations correct. And then later on here, he got the 95 and 5 percent limits of each of this and this was to help him display the ndvi images so so there we're getting the bottom five percent of band four on the 22nd and then we're getting the 95 percentile for band four on the 22nd okay etc uh, the ndvi Presume you know this is the near infrared minus red divided by the near infrared plus the red. And if you're an experienced uh, MATLAB user, you know the dot divide that's corresponding by divided by corresponding uh, image location or matrix location. If the dot divide is complicated, you just have to go somewhere else and look it up. There. We just run it there and we got the uh, NDVI and we just go down a little bit here. Just leave that there for a second, a chance for you to see it. And then we printed the file and this is what we see. So there's the 650 band around Potsdam. There's the 850 band around Potsdam. And there's the NDVI. Uh, on a naught to one scale here on a the ultimate change there. So we have that as a heat map. Okay. Obviously nothing changed with the water and then the changes in the greenery or whatever would be most intense for the grass at the forest. Then what Martin did was he got the differences between the NDVI on uh, May the 29th and May the 22nd there. 
just do a subtraction just to see had the NDVI gone up or gone down I'm going to leave that up there I'm not going to go through it line by line because you're probably an experienced user you display the image there between minus 0.2 and plus 0.2 there just go down a little bit again there's the NDVI on the left hand side for the 22nd there it is on the 29th we've probably got some algal bloom coming in and then we got the difference between the two of them here you can see just around there that the algal bloom started to kick in so the more change there the higher up this uh, heat map it is here so the blue means no change in the NDVI okay so hope that helps for listening and thanks very much again and credit to martin in potsdam university thanks very much for listening